We are back. Hello, I hope you are back too. Also, I've switched my mouse to the wrong screen. Yes, that's better. My last quarterly review said I had an attitude problem. Morale improvement program fixed me right up. Right. That's why you're boozing. My last quarterly review said I had an attitude problem. Okay. Morale improvement program fixed me right up. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Of course he's dead. Discrepancy detected. Rizzo's company policy clearly states that all proprietary mascots must exhibit signs of physical life. Oh, he has a slug. Medical puncture wounds near his collarbone. I'm having trouble finding an exit wound. Excellent observation, Inspector. Have you deduced a possible cause of death? Handguns 45, firearms, not a con conventional weapon either. Ooh. Unusually small entry wounds indicate exotic weaponry. Closest approximations are 1. Incident involving a game of darts. 2. The Needler. Oh, we found a Needler somewhere during the game, I think. We just never used it and I probably deconstructed it or sold it recently. The Needler? Yes, Inspector. The Needler. The spoke handgun carried and wielded by Halcyon Helen. Famously deployed by Halcyon Helen in Terror on Monarch. This weapon was responsible for executing the Chief of the Savages, played by Spencer Woolridge. <laughs> Before we go, do you think he'd miss his outfit? This unit is incapable of providing ethical advice. This unit is also incapable of answering rhetorical questions. I'll take his things. It's potential evidence. Yeah. You glance over your shoulder to see if anyone's watching, then reach down and remove the mascot's gear. Okay, so that was why his uniform was so boring, because we're of course allowed to wear it. Thanks, game. Alright, let's get out of here. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh. Vending machine, power cables. I won't tell. Oh, right, this is stealing. Excuse me for a moment. Um, heavy ammo, energy cell, light ammo, bit cartridge. Okay, but I guess all of this is stealing, which we didn't really mean to do. This empty bottle of spirits does not belong to any known corporate brand. Suspicious residue detected. Oh. High concentration of ethanol. Someone's brewing moonshine with antiseptics. Excellent deduction, Inspector. Imbibing of unauthorized beverages is strictly prohibited under Rizzo's company law. Ingredients include antiseptic alcohol, sucrose, and unidentifiable miscellaneous organic material. Closest match. Counterfeit spirits available at the Piraeus spaceport. Piraeus? Right, Piraeus spaceport was the sublight thing, wasn't it? So it's just our local. <sighs> Someone is, uh, I don't know, grilling sausages or something outside, I think. Or, well, it's uh, wafting in. <laughs> Guess I'll know what I'll be making tonight. can see into the hotel rooms with that thing. Ooh. 
Wait, and where Helen was having the picnic. Wish I had a telescope like this back in the Vale. Of course, the company probably would have scrapped it for parts. So maybe this is the same person that picnicked with Helen? So is that Bertie's? of monitoring Rizos reminds you that all equipment is to be used for the express purpose of monitoring Eridanos weather patterns use of monitoring equipment for any other purpose is expressly prohibited logs clear skies distant storm phaeton steered around it phaeton adjusted course clear skies distant storm phaeton revised heading all right, unofficial logs. I've password locked this directory. Pretty sure no one in management can crack it even if they do start checking up on us. Have fun. Celebrity sightings. Oh. I saw Spencer Woolrich order four different meals and then send them all back. What a refined palate. The other day Halcyon Helen was enjoying a spectrum on the terrace. The stars really are just like the rest of us. Some of the rangers started tussling in one of the fountains. The gardener Automax spent hours propping the flowers back up. What fun, guys. Initial if you see one of the following on your shift. First to three wins. Teacup cannons and matching outfits, D. This should really count twice, once for each cannon. Someone falling off edge of island. Trist in greenhouse, H. It's all windows. Why would anyone do this? Terror ray slams into hotel window, D. Raptodon or primal on hotel island. Oh, okay, so those were the people seeing it. So D and H worked here. Celebrity sightings H, P, and D. Okay, I guess that's it. I guess they're kind of uh, star spotting or something. The creeps. Alright, I guess nothing else to be found here. Hmm. Find Bertie at the spaceport. I guess I missed that. How do we know he is at the spaceport? It's interesting. Armor parts. I guess it makes sense. Armor parts are easier to find. Oh no! That means you can still see it. But anyone who sees it will know that you can afford the expensive stuff. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way. To show off how much money you have. Okay. Let's head to the entrance and see if we can get to meet Bertie. Oh. Oh, 
these are Emonies. Emonies. Keep this up, and I won't have any new battle scars. At least we get free ammo. And parasite jelly if we want to. We don't toss troublemakers out of airlocks. We just throw them over the edge. All right. Contact Cedric. Okay. Inspector, good to see you. Let me just grant you access and... Welcome to the Piraeus Spaceport. Ooh. New stuff opening up. Didn't even realize that there would be a way to talk here. I guess we needed to have a reason. And I like that there's two lanes here. I guess once the on ramp and once the off ramp. <laughs> also, you notice something? No cars. I wonder what kinds of weapons do you have right now? Parvati has the Prismatic Hammer, which is level 14, and a Light Pistol level 8, so we could probably, at the next workbench, upgrade our companions a little bit. What does Parvati have? That's 126, so this hammer is actually a little better right now. So at least give you a good melee weapon. She had a hammer to start with, I think, so I just kept that going. So, will Birdie be alive or dead? And for how long? This is exciting. Also, being able I to don't see like through the way they're eyeing us, Captain. Hey, you! We've been looking for you, and by we, I mean Slug. Been real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't you, Inspector? See, Sluglight Underground don't like that much. Sluglight? That's a new one. Should have kept your nose where it belonged, Inspector. Slug's sick of all your meddling in their affairs. Our affairs, I mean. We're... Draw, you damn breadworm! Draw! I wish I had the lying skill to do the your safety is still on thing. I love it when people threaten me now. I'm acting in self-defense. Uh, let's try the... I'm an inspector fella. Sticking my nose where it doesn't belong is my job. Well, you ain't gonna stick that nose anywhere ever again. Hold on. Oh, let's try the charm thing. You're not really slug, are you? It's okay, you can tell me. Wooly piss! Why'd we decide to do this? Hey, any chance we could reschedule? Maybe do this whole showdown business? Uh, never? Get out of here. I uh, don't need to tell us twice. Uh, come on, all. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, interesting. What were those people? Hmm. 
Slug light underground. Oh, a constable. Deputy wine taster 306B. Greetings, non criminally associated individual. The Rizzo's constabulary is currently not closed due to a spread infestation. Bureaucratic processes are currently suspended. At present, criminal reports do not require paperwork. Please lament only in marked lamentation. Zones, please speak clearly into this unit's recording instruments. Your designation is Deputy Wine Taster? What are you doing in the constabulary? Error. Unit designation no longer Wine Taster. Unit designation now Deputy. <laughs> You used to be a wine tasting mechanical. What's your favorite wine? Unit does not have a favorite wine. Unit is incapable of taste. Do your wine taste wine testing oh it's wine tester apparently. Instruments double as weapons or something? While potential lethality of unit instrumentation bears towards 95% violent utilization of equipment would void unit warranty. All Rizzo's constabularies must include at least one deputy constable among the pool of available Rizzo's employee candidates. This unit was Considered the most competent. All right, then. How may this unit be of service to you? Did you say something about a spread infestation? Checking logs. Error. Information or limitations found. Two. Reciting. Limitation one. Do not tell users about constabulary spread infestation. We do not need to pay the health inspector's bribe a third time limitation to do not read informational limitations aloud, especially not to any of those void damned snuck nosed guests, or I'll have you sold for parts. Goodbye. Okay, so basically they don't, you know, because this is basically sublight. Oh, that would be stealing, I guess. Um, since this is sublight, which is basically smuggling, um, I guess they don't really need a constable. Rather, it would be a bit problematic. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Huh, interesting. An aberration in the expected timeline for this organic being has occurred. Behold, the body of Maria Keen, formerly the constable of the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. No signs of life detected. Maria Keen is survived by no known relatives. These are small wounds. She looks like she was shot in the head and the neck. Excellent observation, Inspector. Multiple wounds located in the frontal bone and between the clavicle suggest she was facing away from her attacker. Furthermore, the location and circumference of exit wounds suggest a firearm with unconventional ammunition. Hold on, that sounds like the same weapon that killed the mascot. Yes, Inspector. These entry wounds match the profile previously detected on the Rizzo's Ranger's mascot. Constable Maria Keen was likely killed by someone wielding the needler. Notice some casings on the ground. Ammunition? These casings are too minuscule for conventional small caliber firearms. 
Each piecing resembles a lancing needle used for medical and surgical purposes. Scan her blood for toxins. High concentration of potassium chloride detected. Trace amounts of neurotoxin detected. The scientists in the RR&DD lab died the same way. These wounds match the profile previously detected in the RR&DD labs. Cardiac arrest, rather than physical trauma, is the most likely cause of death. I'm... it's cool that... I don't know if that's, you know, their level design. Um, you know, that you get robbed, and so when you see a door to the left saying constable, you go like, you know, maybe I can talk to these guys about him and find out more about them. Um, and so I guess that's how they subtly led me into finding this spot. And if I had just gone ahead and said, hey, go to the mission objective, I wouldn't have found that. Cardiac arrest rather than physical trauma is the most likely cause of death. Amplifier, make a note. Find whoever who did this. Make them pay. Your memo has been noted. This unit has been programmed to offer encouragement during moments of emotional strain. Banter protocol activated. We'll find this rat bastard's responsible, Inspector. All right. Spectrum Vodka Orange. Yes. I'm securing this as evidence. I can take a hint. So we have a key card. Which we might have stolen, but at least it works. And they didn't come here to get her key card, apparently. Which is interesting. Ooh, use terminal with the card. Internment logs. Mills Cassidy. Suspected smuggling. Suspicion of smuggling is fait accompli to any arrest report involving Cassidy Mills. Cassidy has made attempted smuggling a hobby, and with a few more years of unsupervised practice, will likely elevate attempted smuggling into an art form. The key term here is attempted. I'm not at all confident in Cassidy's ability to successfully smuggle anything. She's clumsy in the extreme, obvious to a fault, and couldn't hide sand in a desert. Suspicion of smuggling non nonetheless constitutes dissident, irresponsible, or otherwise untoward behavior contrary to the high standards of Rizzo's company law. Because Cassidy Mills falls under the purview of Sublight Underground, I expect Mr. King Kenyon to pay her internment fees within 36 hours, as usual. Arrest lock. Mr. Oza, disorderly conduct, was found semi-conscious earlier yesterday morning, lying amongst the remains of a crate of Rizzo's confectionaries. Material va value 15 bits, market loss approximately 1500 bits. Whoa, that's a markup. They're, they're manufacturing something at 15 bits and then selling them at 1500. When approached by guards, Oza began to rave and yell, uttering phrases such as, Rizzo's has slugs, slugs, they'll kill us all. Mr. Oza was apprehended and brought to the constable's office. Slug bureaucrats have begun work on the defamation papers, which, in tandem with the price of the goods Mr. Oza destroyed, will likely force him into hard labor for the rest of his life. At least he won't be stoking any trouble between us and Rizzo anymore. Delinquent Log Lamb Alexis Arrest public drunkenness. Arrest Log's sixth arrest of Lamb this month. He's getting close to his record. Security footage archive. Nothing. Okay. Messages. Hack 70. Enter passcode. Thank God we have enough hacking. Passcode. I love terror on Monarch. Welcome, Maria Keen. Oh, she was a Halcyon Helen fan as well. 
I wonder if that's something... You know? If, um... I mean, it could just be, you know, someone going, like, what would be an in-game password? Um, but, um... If that's supposed to be a clue, maybe she called in Helen. From Ludovico. Ooh. Constable, I know you don't need to hear this. Wait, Constable Keen? That was the one on the phone call with us, wasn't it? Oh. I thought it was just some... Some new constable, but I didn't realize. Of course, that's the constable we talked to. Basically the only sensible person. Great. Constable, I don't. I know you don't need to hear this, but please be on your guard. Piraeus space Spaceport is technically outside my jurisdiction, which means you're the only representative of company law in slug territory. This is more than I can reasonably expect from you, but I'd appreciate it if you kept an eye on Cedric King Cannon. He's looking for any opportunity to seize control of the entire complex from me, and you're keeping him in check. You are the first, last, and only line of defense between Slug's lawless hooligans and our project. I know you have dreams of something bigger than Eridanos. If this product launch is successful, if Spectrum Brown spreads to the rest of the colony, I promise you I'll find you a place where you can be happy for the rest of your lives. You're a valuable part of the Rizzo's family, and I will look after you. Yeah, right. Check diagnostics. Error. Record archives not found. Pursuant of Rizzo's company policy, all constabulary terminals must provide for the maintenance, archiving, and disposal, disposal of official rep cards. Message system pass. Security threat footage archive pass. Internment logs pass. Record archives fail. Hack. Run data recovery. Critical damage detected. Data recovery failed. Subroutine repair requires supervisor access. Please enter your supervisor clearance passcode now. Alright, new archive recovery subroutine. We can't do that. Record archives not found. Exit. Okay, so unless we can get to hacking 150 really fast. We're never going to find out about this. Are there any weapon parts here? Oh. Greetings, criminal. This unit would implore you to confess to your crime of landing with an expired permit. Please explicate your defense into this unit's recording equipment. My permit wasn't expired, Scrappy. You probably just scanned it wrong. Error. Unit's permit reading equipment was updated only last week. Please tell a different lie. Tell a different... You're a mechanical. You ain't got the foggiest idea whether I'm telling the truth or not. Correct. Criminal. However... Constable Keen has decreed that this unit will remain here, questioning you every minute until you submit a confession. Error. Information on recent exchange lost. Restarting conversation. Greetings, criminal. This unit <laughs> criminal get it they don't let me talk to law-abiding sorts huh okay if I made a bet with you at the copper bottom last night let's call it off now I can't stand the taste of life's brats 
All right. So she used the droid's interrogation routines as a torture mechanism. That's a bit mean, but also quite ingenious. I'm a little peeved. I haven't leveled in a while. We don't have any skill points to spend, do we? No. So let's see. So I guess we need to... Oh, we're only 52 in... Is it science or engineering? What would we need for this? Hack 150. Okay, that looks more like something we can do. Because I think skills. We are at 105. Mm. So it's basically the same as if it was science. If it was 55 or 105, we still need 50 points. So let's see if we can find Bertie. I sublight underground. Or slug, I guess. I can't shake the feeling they had something to do with Ms. Helen's death. This port seems real busy. I wonder if they're trying to compete with the Groundbreaker. Okay. That's a restricted access area. Does this vending machine sell? No rum and something, no vodka. I think the vodka the last time we found some was on Byzantium, wasn't it? LJ Lager? Hey you! I got something I need to speak with you about. Sorry, I just forgot my wallet here. Hey there. Word around the spaceport is that you came in on the unreliable. You a new crewmate? Uh... Since he says crewmate, he th thinks uh, it sounds like he knows Hawthorne. Okay, so we are not going to say we are Hawthorne. Okay, I'm Janet Peck. Sorry to tell you, but Hawthorne's dead. The ship was left to me. I see. Well, this would have been easier with Hawthorne, but I hope that if you're flying his ship, it means you're a freelancer too. Wonder if you can help me. I'm listening. I run an outfit for the moving of the uh, less than legal goods. There's a particular piece of cargo needs delivering to a particular individual in the spaceport. Thing is, I don't know where the cargo is right now. The crewmate who handles that is in the clink for getting a little too disorderly in town. We've already attracted too much attention. Too risky to visit her myself. That's where you come in. You help us out, I'll give you an equal cut of our pay. I'm in. What do you need me to do? Great to hear. First, you need to go meet the crewmate who got herself jailed. Cassidy Mills is the name. She'll know where the cargo is. How will she know I'm working with you? Oh, yeah, right. We have a secret phrase. I like boneless spratwurst. Say that and she'll know you're a friend. But I don't like boneless spratwurst. Look, nobody does. That's why it's a good passphrase. 
Couldn't you have avoided this if both of you knew where the cargo was? Could, but there go our plausible deniability. Technically, I don't know about any smuggled cargo, and Cassidy hasn't moved anything herself. If the constable asks, I can't find any contraband cargo, and Cassidy doesn't know how it got here or what's in it. <laughs> it's the whole um, that we had on Groundbreaker already with, uh, what was her name, Lilia Hagen? Um, who always had like, oh yeah, we're, we're just a salvage corporation, you know? And we don't know who shot up these ships. We just salvaged them afterwards. And things like that. Sounds good. I'll get going. Be seeing ya. Remember, Cassidy's at the constabulary. She might be a little uh, wary, so be careful. All right. Ooh, what's this bottle? Another Spectrum Vodka Orange, which, well... We already have one, but uh, since it's free, just to be safe. What do you have here? Nothing. Buy a bunk, huh? I think I'll stick to my cabin, thanks. Oh, okay. I guess that's a rest uh, a hotel or something. Tired of sleeping on the ship? Is the Grand Colonial too grand for your bit cartridge? Enjoy moderate luxury. Buy a bunk. <clears throat> What's the waiver? Satellite salvage and shipping underground is not responsible for any damage incurred by you while you rent this unit. Slug does not guarantee the condition of this unit or any amenities therein. Slug does not guarantee that this unit is vermin-free. The corpses of any vermin killed by the user, intentionally or otherwise, are the property of Slug. Removal of said corpses will be met with a fine of no less than 1,000 bits. By agreeing to rent this unit, you waive any right to pursue Slug for damages. <sighs> Do I want to rent this unit and look into it? I guess we'll do. Okay. Huh. Can we hack this? I don't know if I can... I'm far enough away. Rum and something. No Spectre vodka. And that shower doesn't look too good either. Oh well. Come on, yes. Let's close that door just to be safe. Oh, that's another buy a bunk. Security drones see what we're doing? I'm not sure I remember. Let's see where you're going. I don't want to pick a fight with you. Not that I'd lose or anything, but... Uh, I guess those are all tiny. It's interesting that they're all separate. So my guess is at some point we will have to rent one of these. Wait, where is... Thirty is here somewhere? Oh. Hi. What do you want? Wait! Bertie Holcomb! Right. I, I remembered them mention Black Hole Bertie. 
But that that's the Bertie Holcomb that was mentioned in the base game. I think it's good that I took along Parvati. Need to ask a few, you a few questions, Mr. Holcomb. Not so loud! How'd you know it was me? <laughs> Do you have any idea how many toss ball posters your face is on? I'm an inspector and a damn good one. Yeah, that makes sense. You must be a good one to sniff me out. Well, actually, I have this I'm in no check. mood to sign autographs, and I hate disappointing fans. So I'm lying low. You know, incompleto. Incognito. Oh, yeah, I guess it's kind of neato. Oh, what's it matter? Helen's gone. She's gone and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find who did this. That's what she would do. Track down the killer and bring them to justice. But I'm stumped. And not very clever. Being bright was always Helen's thing. Maybe I can help. I was hired to solve Helen's murder. Oh, so you're the inspector! Hope you have more luck figuring things out than me. You probably want to ask me some questions, huh? I'm sure you're asking everybody questions, so you can find Helen's killer. So, uh, how do I help? Want to explain why you smashed up your picnic with Helen? Oh, the picnic. Right. I get real mad sometimes. Ugly mad. Something I've been working on, but when Helen said we were through, I... I lost it. Did you hurt her? No. Do you want to poke him a little bit? I guess we do as an investigator. Hey, I get it. Sometimes a person makes you angry and you gotta make him understand. Are you saying... You really think I had something to do with her death? Is that what you're saying to me right now? Because if you think I... Deep breaths, Birdie. In and out. Deep breaths. Helen is... Was... The love of my life. She was really someone special. I'd have done anything for her. Anything. So where were you when she was murdered? I was getting blotto with the rest of the rangers. What? You know, soaked. Muddled. Preserved. Drunk is the medical term. <laughs> the team noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. When I told them Helen and I were Splitsville... They wanted to cheer me up. We were up the pole of four evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. Zeke said we should move elsewhere, get some air. I'm deeply disappointed I didn't get to see all this. Where'd you go? We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. I think somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow? There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh to get her drunk. One thing led to another, and I think we might have maybe, you know, stolen her. What did you steal a cow for? I don't know. We were drunk, and we made bad choices. She was all alone. Uh, I know how that feels now. It's so hard to be all by your lonesome. My memory's a little muddled after that. I guess me and the team got split up, because I know I was on my own at the pilot house for a time. Could anyone from the pilot house back that up? Mmm, I reckon not. See, I went to the weather station. I was looking for where Helen stashed her data pad for safekeeping, right? She'd asked me to get it, mind. I wasn't stealing. I'm no thief. You're telling me Helen dumped you, then asked you for a favor? Nah, she sent a note to my hotel room before we, you know, 
split. I don't know how long it was sitting there before I noticed. I get it. You thought doing her a favor would smooth things over. She needed something done, and I could do it. Simple as that, okay? I found the data pad at the weather station, like Helen said, but then a guard found me. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble. Thing is, it was real dark out there. So dark, she couldn't tell who I was. You sure this guard couldn't ID you? Real sure. It was dark as night gets. Plus, I've got small veins. Anyway, I didn't much feel like trying to explain why I was out there, or why I was drunk and holding someone else's data pad, and also maybe crying a little, so I booked it. Ran like the Rangers were down by three, and I just bronzed the toss ball in the Friday zone. Did anyone else see you that night? Think hard. Anyone, anywhere else? Yeah, um, I mean, no. Nope. No one else. I would have to be dead to not realize that's a lie. Can we pretend I didn't mention that? I don't want to tell you. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> we can pick Parvati as the good inspector. You know, I think that's a bad choice because, you know, Parvati is the good inspector. And I didn't really make a bad inspector well. But on the other hand, I want to see how they interact. And maybe that opens him up, you know, if if there is a relation somehow. What do you think, Parvati? Up for a little good inspector, bad inspector? <laughs> uh, good one, Captain. Oh, you're serious. Y you want me to be the bad inspector? Are you sure? Come on, give it your best shot. Oh, fine. I'll do my best. Here goes nothing. <clears throat> Look, Mr. Black Hole, sir. If you know anything about Ms. Helen's death, you need to tell us. Because the cap, the inspectors, real determined to hunt the killer down. And you seem like a real kind-hearted man, and I'd hate to see you get caught up in this mess. I apologize, ma'am, but I'm confused. I thought your boss was the good inspector. Sorry, I messed up, didn't I? Hmm, but we can get to intimidate now. <sighs> On one hand, I want to be... No, it's fine. You know, on one, on one hand, you want to be nice to her, but on the other hand, I want to intimidate him a little, so I guess maybe that's the option we unlocked now. Don't worry, I'll take it All right, here. I get the idea. Jeez. Look, I talked to Oric, okay? Oric West. Hangs out around the spaceport. He's the one who taught me the uh, breathing exercises I used to calm down. Your bookie, Murderous Confidant, secret paramour with whom you've been having a torrid affair? Confidant is like confidence. What's torrid mean? <laughs> I knew that last one was a stretch. <laughs> Who's Auric, Bertie? Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Auric's not a bad guy. He's just got an unusual job. So now you have the whole story. After I talked to Oric, I went back to the hotel. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and a hangover to end all hangovers. Don't know if I'll ever drink again. Isn't that a beer you drink? 
Let's see the data pad. Oh, yeah, you'll probably want to... Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Helen sure did have the prettiest handwriting. I'm sorry about Helen, Birdie. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Sorry. Here you go, Inspector. Hopefully they make more sense to you. I couldn't make heads or tails of them. Either she was writing in code, or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said. Being bright was Helen's thing. There's still a gap in your timeline, Birdie. I'm not sure a blackout will cut it. I know, I know that. But you gotta believe me. I would never hurt Helen, no matter how drunk I was. You could preserve me in Spectrum Brown, and I wouldn't even look at her funny. I want to help you find her killer, Inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And it could be handy to have a guy like me around, in case anybody gives you trouble. I'm really more the lone canid type. Hmm. So can we take him as a companion or just, just come along? Start threatening witness, witnesses and I'll throw you in jail myself. I'm not threatening nobody. Gee, you try to help someone out. I'll head back to the Grand Colonial then. Unless you need me for anything else. Oh, okay. I guess we can't re recruit him or... I don't know. I might have misunderstood the reply there. Oh. This way. Yeah, but what is this way? Who are you? Hello. Welcome to Aridano's Dry Goods and Sundry. The most standard and unremarkable general store this side of Halcyon. <laughs> I'm Marketeer Joseph Dempsey, here to make your shopping experience as pleasant and normal as possible. <laughs> Standard and unremarkable, you said? Maybe you should invest in an advertising seminar. Or maybe he's, you know, signaling. Hey, folks take a lot of comfort in knowing their neighborhood general store is unchanging. Eternal. Like the land beneath their feet or the air in their lungs. Whoops. Forgot I ain't supposed to poeticize on work time. The drab nature of our store profits is what I meant. Now, can I sell you anything? Let's see what you have. Do you have any spectrums? No. Is there anything else? But I don't think so. Okay. What's this? Reminds me of Moreau's. Just a bit. Oh, okay, so that goes down. That's why there were stairs, right? Because we went down. Ah, I, I was a bit confused. Okay, so that's the building. They're gonna dry goods and sundry. Yeah, um, I should have read that, I guess. So let's talk to, where are you? Here. Don't think I know you. What do you want? I like boneless bratwurst. Yep, that sure is the passphrase, even if it is dumb as hell. What's Dash's plan? I'm your mark for... Hey, hang on. How do I know you're really Cassidy Mills and not a mole? Because I'm going to tell you where our package is, Hullhead. If I were part of an ambush, you'd have already been arrested. We're in the constabulary, for law's sake. <laughs> You're looking for cargo from our ship, the Rat King. Small package, wrapped in brown paper. It got moved to the shipping yard, but I'm not completely sure where. If you're not sure where it is, how am I supposed to find it? I'm sure some slugite knows how to find it, or has it listed in a terminal. All else fails, you could just case the joint. Might end up with some extra loot for your troubles. 
Okay. You're back, I see. Hope the law hasn't caught on to what you're doing. Law meaning authorities, that is, not the forces running the universe. What do you do to get arrested anyway? This is gonna sound a little stupid, but I got a thing about mechanicals. Don't like the way they move or the sounds they make. Gives me the creeps. I was drinking with Dash in the cantina when a funny looking one trotted up beside us. Seemed like it was some kind of monster. So I started yelling, banging on it. Don't know what happened next, but I think it involved another mechanical. I passed right out then, and when I woke back up, I was here. Not the most graceful thing I've ever done. Okay, a weird mechanical. A monster mechanical. Oh, and we can confirm Bertie's alibi. Hey, pal, over here. Ah, oh, that's Auric. Hey there, you're looking to unwind, friend? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time? Maybe you're interested in something a little better than beer or Adreno? Something with a little more kick? Better than beer? Maybe then I am. Then maybe I'm your guy. The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, natural substances and the like. You know, alternative stuff. <laughs> I know, I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it. I do. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? Says it right on the Anticleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture? Not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. Yeah, I've noticed as much. Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. I'd like to ask you some questions over Bertie Holcomb. Wait. You ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. <laughs> That's not how the law works, I think. If I planned to arrest you, you'd be in jail by now. Can't argue with that logic. Yeah, I know, Bertie. What do you want to know? Heard you taught Bertie some breathing techniques? Yeah, that was me. Bertie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it. How do you know, Bertie? He may or may not buy alternatives from me from time to time. A little diluted mantis or essence here, a little vitamin B negative there. What for? He's stressed out of his mind, the poor guy. Everyone knows his name. Can't turn around without having to sign an autograph. And then you throw in playing tossed ball for a living. Violence like that, it does things to a body. It does things to the head. What do you mean, Tossball does things to the head? Come on. Bertie's a damn good hacker, but taking that many blows to the noggin would scramble anyone's upstairs business. I know it's knocked a few of his memories loose. I worry about him, that's all. He's a good kid. Got a good heart. Was Bertie with you the night Halcyon Helen was killed? Yeah. Damn shame about that. Bertie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. That's all for now. Okay, so I guess we got out of this without buying any drugs. That's a first. No, wait. Um, forget you heard that. Oh, public restrooms. That's luxury. And they're also better than the... They look a lot cleaner than those rentable houses. Those, what was it called? Buy a bunk? Yeah, buy a bunk. Bunk, bunk. Oh, what's this? I found a secret tunnel. Next I'll find an alien, I guess. Shh. 
Oh, that's the bar. So I guess we can see Bernie, maybe? No, maybe not. Oh. What's this place? The fabulous Fraser twins, brothers, whatever. Oh, that's probably the locked up room. Oh, that's an armory. Weapon parts. Of course, we want weapon parts. I mean, ammo, I don't really need to steal. It's lying around everywhere. Yeah, that's the sealed door behind the bar then. Ha, huh, cool. Okay. I like little secrets like that. But you can just wait. Yeah, this was... I've got to see that there are items in here somewhere. It's a nice tease. Guess we're reporting. Well, there's a harbor master here. You, you got an appointment. Appointment. Hello, need to speak with Cedric. Yeah, that's why you're here. Appointment. Can I make an appointment for right now? Hmm. Not entirely out of the question. Convince me. I could put in a good word with Cedric, but nah, I'm not. I think I'm gonna intimidate her because she's... No, I guess... Well, let's try to be nice. I could put in a good work with, word with Cedric about his incredibly helpful secretary. Wouldn't mind a new bolter pistol. I've fired mine so many times the tips nearly fell off. Let's give Mr. Kincannon a ring. Mr. Kincannon? Got a person of interest here to see you. Maybe they've got business. That sounds like our inspector. Please, send her up. Okay. I guess we're not lockpicking right in front of her. Although I should try... You know what? I'm gonna go and save... Huh? I guess they do notice, yeah. Ooh, weapon parts. Don't leave open the door. Jesus. Try some subtlety. Oh. A shower, bathroom, and kitchen. And the balcony. Ooh. Oh, compass. No, not interested. Purple berry punch is no vodka either. Okay, so I guess. 
Let's talk to you and see what happens. Why, if it isn't the inspector, I was hoping you'd swing by. Here for my alibi, I assume. Later, first I want an explanation for that nonsense outside. Another murder? Drunk raptidons? Black hole birdie practicing his hacking in the middle of the street? Uh, stop me if it's one of those, or I'll just keep guessing. I had a run in something with <laughs> drug raptitons. I had a run in with those slug agents. Sounds as though you've already sorted it out yourself. How do thugs get their hands on slug gear? Slug uniforms do seem to go missing from the hotel laundry with impressive regularity. Easy enough for someone to nick a few. Now ask yourself this. Why would anyone give thugs slug gear and send them after you? Clearly whoever's behind this wants to pit me against slug. And I'm not going to say smear your good name because, you know, you're sublight. Right again, Inspector. But I can't fathom who would benefit from tarnishing my reputation like that. Can you? If you have a theory, spit it out. Let's uh, let him say it. Oh, that's good. That's very good, Inspector. I like this. Dominant. Aggressive. Hmm? The woman in charge. I don't want to accuse anyone without hard evidence. Though it may be worth noting, Ludovico has motivation in spades. So, as you've deduced, I did not send anyone from Slug after you, nor is it likely they assigned themselves that task. Still, I am sorry for the trouble, Inspector. With that settled, I assume you'll want to know where I was the night of Helen's murder. Let's hear it. Let's see. That night, I was... Torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? <laughs> I think I know the answer. Um, and where would I find Elliot Nasser to verify that? An excellent question. I had his body dropped off the edge of the land complex. I'm not sure what happened to it from there, scientifically speaking. Maybe it dissolved? Ultimately, though, it doesn't matter. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie, and I am, incriminatingly, people. So your alibi is that you were busy murdering someone else. Ah, oh, let's, let's try the friendly route. Uh, come on, Cedric, I'm trying to clear you of murder here. And I appreciate that, Inspector. The fact of the matter is, I know I didn't kill Helen. And I trust you fully and completely to find whoever did. If it helps, however, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. Why in the name of the architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. Why was she making him a fortune? Like, what was his relationship? Bet you'd make a killing selling tickets to a funeral. Why, Inspector, that's terrible. Besides, given how long she was likely to live and continue working, the math doesn't work out. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. I take it the guy you tortured wasn't the source of your missing cargo then? Oh, Elliot stole from me, all right. Alas, you're right in that his was a singular isolated incident, and as such does not resolve a concerning broader trend. Items are disappearing from slug storage and processing warehouse. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. <laughs> before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. What's gone missing specifically? <laughs> nothing unsavory, and nothing Ludovico shouldn't know about, if that's your concern. I'm quite serious when I say Slug is a legitimate business. As to the specifics, I'm not sure. 
The warehouse foreman should be able to tell you. Before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. What's this the connection to Helen's murder? I'm not sure. I'm only confident there is one. That the thefts began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary coincidence. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. Really dumb luck's done a lot from... I guess I can't guarantee the theft isn't related to the murder. I certainly wouldn't take that bet. Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads. Me, scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> Just no unspeakable mangling in front of me. I'll say this once. Whoever's behind this is going to jail, not to you. You do recall, Inspector, that I'm not to be trusted? But certainly, whatever you say. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. And do feel free to search my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my account. Okay, before Was there something married, else you wanted to discuss? The um, Why does Ludovico hate you so much anyway? The original incident? Well, I made him an offer he should have refused. Put a severed raptor down in it. That's assuming he could refuse it. Intimidation has its role in diplomacy. Still, his choice to work with Sublight was indeed a choice. Our combative relationship stems from paperwork, mundanely enough. Rizzo's contracted Sublight to construct the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. Had Lou wanted Rizzo's to retain full control of Eridanos, he shouldn't have skimmed the revised contract I sent him. Lose an administrator, for law's sake. I thought he would adore all the fine print I added. How fine of print are we talking? Still technically visible to the human eye, but only just. You're quite good at this. It was all perfectly legal, too, which irked Lou to no end. My power grab, as Lou called it, planted the seed of hatred. And Lou, obsessed with what should have been, has made sure to water it daily with his bitterness and anger. Hmm. I... This is a difficult one. Like, so far we've always been anti-corporation. But, you know, Sublight is a criminal empire. So, I don't think we really want to support them. Yeah, I think, like, getting them to kind of more even footing might be a better choice here just to stabilize the, the the entire place to maybe take sublight down to a little less dangerous and then if i manage to kick out the corporations or something then uh that would uh maybe mean that the criminals aren't as strong anymore Nurturing a grudge is an ugly thing. You should make peace with him. Alas, I can't. I am, first and foremost, the head of Slug, and it simply wouldn't be good for business. Slug's control of Eridanos is a crucial step in my long-term plans for Sublight. The board needs to see irrefutable proof we are a respectable, legitimate business.
Why do you care so much what the board thinks? Because one day soon, Sublight will obtain a seat on it. Meanwhile, our dear administrator is still laser focused on Old Slice, which can be a nuisance. He's grown increasingly desperate to catch Slug with our hand in the proverbial cookie jar as of late, convinced we're involved in less than legal business opportunities. But you've ad admitted to me earlier that you tortured a man for information. Not in front of witnesses, I didn't. <laughs> I guess, you know, the constable... <sighs> I'm wondering how he will react, if how, how he would react if we told him that the constable is dead. Like, either he already knows, or... He will go, oh, wait, that was part of our veil of legitimacy. Um, we need a new one. I guess we'll try it. It's a dialogue option, and I want to hear them say interesting things. The constable is dead. Constable Keen? Now that is a damn shame. Am I right to think this wasn't a workplace accident? This was murder, all right. It seems murder is becoming an unsettling trend on Eridanos as of late. Thank you for informing me of Constable Keen's passing. When you find her killer, please be certain to make them suffer. You're actually upset about this. We may have been on opposite sides of the law on occasion, but we were not enemies. Perhaps it will shock you to hear her loss saddens me. Maria was a decent soul. And law knows those are in short supply around here. A little square, perhaps, <laughs> in her dedication to the rules, but good nonetheless. I'm also saddened to have lost an occasional drinking buddy. She was quite good at cards, you know. You were drinking parties, I would love to see that. I'm sorry, Constable Keen, she didn't deserve this. No, she didn't. But let's discuss something else. Do you have other matters requiring my attention? I have more questions about Helen. Very well. Did you have many dealings with Helen? A few. Helen was strangely curious about the private business operations around Eridanos. She said it was role research. But how much business know-how does one actor truly need for an action picture? I also arranged to have Helen supplied with mag picks, bypass shunts, and other hacking tools. She wanted to buy in bulk. Hmm. Why did you help her? Because she paid me to, Inspector. Besides, Ellen was enjoyable company. She was confident, resourceful, determined. Not unlike you, now that I consider it. If you didn't kill her, any idea who would want her dead? That is the question, isn't it, Inspector? Tell me, do you really believe Helen's death was a mere crime of passion? Or one of... Petty career jealousy. Hmm? Clearly you don't. This murder is bigger than Miss Helen's personal life. Bigger than her latest moving picture. I'm listening. Her actions in the time leading up to her death do not align with those of an actor on Eridanos solely to promote Spectrum Brown. Stay sharp, Inspector. Now is not the time to lose focus. Because whoever did kill Helen is not going to come forward so easily. You know more than you're telling me. I might. I just might. Your point, Inspector? You're getting away with less than you think. Now that is interesting. I suppose we'll see, won't we? Be very careful, Inspector. I'd very much like to see you still around for the grand finale. Whenever it comes, whatever shape it takes. That's all I One wanted to know. One moment, if you please, Inspector. I've answered your questions. I believe it's my turn to ask you a question now. What, or who, made you decide to investigate me? Yeah, 
I guess that makes sense. I mean, Ludo did Ludovico tell us that? He might have, but, you know, can't tell you that. Nah. You're one of Aridano's major players. It only makes sense. Understandable. A man of my standing would naturally be tied up in all this, whether he wishes to be or not. Now then, did you need anything else? Nope. Oh. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This copy of TK contains 142 fewer pages than a standard copy. The missing pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device inside. Short-range transmission capabilities. The receiver must be somewhere nearby. You figured that out just by looking at it? Huh. We had to talk shop one of these days. Inspector, please consider speaking into the device in order to trace the transmission and reveal the receiver's location. <laughs> Whoever's listening. Moo. Poor woolly cow impression transmitted. Transmission analysis complete. While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. How long has this been here? Analysis inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. Examine the surrounding area. The area within a 0.5 meter radius of the book possesses a dust coating comprised of at least twice the number of particles. It's not very dusty, then must have been placed fairly recently. That is highly likely, Inspector. What's that you found? No, wait, don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. Huh. That. A cursory fingerprint analysis shows this display case was recently opened or closed. That gun on the bottom looks special. Has it been customized? Confirmed. The grip has been modified for a specific wielder, most likely the rifle's owner. Additionally, the plasma rifle sights appear to have been realigned to better accommodate a shooter with slight myopia in one eye. Analyze the fingerprints further. The fingerprints belong to Cedric Kincannon. All right, obviously. Though you think it's a little surprising Cedric hasn't cauterized his fingerprints to avoid detection. Conclude examination. Oh, admiring my rifle. Had it custom fitted by a woman on Monarch. All right, so there's a secret door behind there, I guess. Inspector, to what do I owe the pleasure? Okay. Nothing we can say. Wait, how far does the building go on? Yeah, there's a good amount of room and even a faux window. So we know someone's listening in on him, but we haven't really found who. And the computer doesn't work. Make an appointment early next time. Uh. 
Why'd Helen have to go and die in our hotel? We don't need that kind of notoriety. Hmm. this what's this do, 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 do. Not anything else oh the mysterious assailants are still here we're not gonna trouble you again I swear ignore us ignore us I don't get paid enough for this no hard feelings no hard feelings, right? Hmm. Hmm. Why do people even go and buy mag picks if they're lying around everywhere? Oh, I can't jump that high. It looked like it would let me. Huh. Let's just have a quick look at our journal then to see all the things we have to do. Find the bugs receiver. That's part of the regular the man who chafed. Speak to Dr. Dr. Goodnight to discover what she may have learned from Helen's autopsy. Oh. That's a new clue. The two rogues. Asked for help retrieving a smuggling package. Okay, that's the one with Cassidy. And we still need to find... Yellow, green, blue, indigo... Red, orange, yellow is what we found. So we need green, blue, indigo, violet, and black. And the nut hunt vendor. You know what? I think I want to go search for that now. Because it's a new weapon and it might make the rest more fun. Okay, so all the way over there. Oh, let's go there because I think that's the nut hut. So we can ask there, I think. Or was that the other side? No. Welcome to the nut hut, the only place you can get Rizzo's ground up, pound up fruit drinks. Made with mostly berries and twigs. Now I'd love to get you something. Maybe a couple somethings? Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Have you sold any Spectrum from the storage warehouse shipment? Wow, what a strange question. I'm much too delighted to be suspicious. I sold lower level Spectrums to workers from RR&DD Labs, Hive Control, and the Conservatory. Jacob's predecessor also splurged briefly on a bottle beyond his pay grade, and Black Hole Birdie bought my most expensive Spectrum when he visited. I wish he'd bought more. Oh, if you're looking for your own Spectrum, remember that you can always buy from the Nut Hut or the Grand Colonial Bar, so long as you have the bits to back up your taste. All right, let's see what you have on offer. Spectrum Red... Spectrum Yellow. Okay, those are the ones we already have. That's a pity. Okay. Let's just...
Something sounds like someone is fighting somewhere. Sixty twelve. Oh, hey, folks. Oh, they're on it. Oh. Out all those swarms. All right. Spread. Oh, that actually works. It actually sets it on fire as well. From vodka. Thirty meters somewhere over there. Ooh. Blue. of the way. I don't know. I wonder if they've made plots, uh, Sprat splushies yet. Plushies yet. <laughs> Sprat plushies. Difficult word. Oh, that was where Bertie had the picnic. Okay, right. That makes sense. That's the black. The others were all red. Okay, so that's exclusive. Oh, there's another black one. Metro Rockers. Huh, nice. There's something else 70 meters over there. Okay, it's inside the building, of course, not behind it. well hidden oh weapon parts well if I'm stealing in here already I might as well grab some weapon parts this in Queen chapter 1 Haha, <laughs> are those Halcyon Helen and Typhon Tim I spy? Crouching in the dark like terrified sprats? A fine job you two did on my ship. 
Most of my crew was torn to bits by the rampaging beasts. I have found you to pay you back with interest. I say we shall defer that payment, shouted Typhon Tim, and his hand flew to his holstered automag. Ere his fingers even touched the weapon's grip, he was struck fifteen times in the face by a hail of bullets from Mercer's weapons, at which point he promptly expired. Helen, cool as usual in the face of death, hefted her bottle of nearly 100% meal grub free purple berry liqueur and hurled it toward the villain. Her aim was true as ever, and the projectile struck Mercer in the forehead, knocking him out so soundly he could not even a mutter a curse. Fine aim, ma'am, said a woman, woman close by, once the other patron's cheers subsided, though I must say I'm sorry for your friend. As was I at first, but when I witnessed what lay in the wake of the bullets, but then I witnessed what lay in the wake of the bullets, look, and as she gestured at what was left of Typhon Tim's head, something small and black began to wriggle amongst the gore. Ooh, he had a brain parasite or something. Scary. All right, where's the last one? Over there. Wait, wasn't that where we already were? I searched that place, damn it. Gush darn it. I guess the rarer stuff was somewhere in there. Just not everywhere. Ooh, I completely missed this room, I guess. Nice view. Violet. Hydrogen peroxide. Who ate my lunch? And one of these days I'll find out what this... Oh, this is a different circuit diagram, I think, than the one we had previously. From triangular... From pulse... From Sawtooth A C B Selected for two point forty five volts at TPA and sign symmetry. Yeah, definitely sound circuits if sign is mentioned there. Or well, I guess it could be for something else. I don't think there are any obvious, like, symbols that mean speaker. All NPN transistors, or all PNP transistors. Frequency varies. I mean, it could just, you know, be some, like, you know, computer-ish circuit that has a, a frequency at which it does things, I guess. terminal open case all spectrum flavors detected opening case captain we just found a Rizzo's product I might actually like <laughs> which one is it the spectrum Gatling okay Let's try it. That looks cool. I'm a bit surprised we weren't sent to uh, to 
take care of the primals. Workless belays is moral bankruptcy. Now we need to pick a quest because, of course, it grabbed the endgame quest again. Why are we transistoring? Yeah, I don't know. It's some weird machine. You were transist. You were distracted by a Skype call. No, no, it's fine. I'm just playing my game here. Feel free to talk when you have time or want, and to. Walk away when you don't. Um, okay, so we haven't really talked to the prophet of profitability. Man, that like a thirty. I guess we'll talk to Ludovico now, and then. Let's talk to Goodnight first because that should be going on the way. Do you have anything interesting? Oh, there's ammo next to you. Always appreciated. But I like the design of this whole map. You know, it's... You know, on one hand, of course, it's, you know, like... Oops. Um, it's like an obvious game design thing. Like, basically, this is how you plan maps. You have one graph for one location with all the things you need to do there. And then you go, okay, let's draw a connecting line for, like, a passage to the next location that um, that might be um, related to um, you know just uh, the, the next location might be uh, you know might the passage might need to be blocked until you have made a certain achievement um, uh, not achievement like in the uh, you've killed 500 enemies way, but like in the way of saying um, uh, until you've, you know, like talked with a certain person or something like that, got a reason to go there or, un you know, solved a certain puzzle that unblocks the passage. And then it opens up a few items, and those might actually take you closer to some some problem that you're not supposed to um, um, not supposed to do until later. So on this hand, like this island with connecting bridges idea in general is very common in games. Um, and of course also in game design it makes it a lot easier because you don't have to build... Rizzo's understands and appreciates your frustration, sir. I'll see what I can do about getting you a rain slash mosquito swarm check. A rain slash mosquito check? Sog the tour. Those mosquitoes nearly stung me. Uh, Rizzo's understands and appreciates your. <laughs> what yeah, yeah, anyway, so um, yeah, and so because. I, I just wanted to make you smile. Oh wow, that's a nice gun. There's a 
few more mad persons here. I like how they all, uh, while dying, yell, I just wanted to be your friend! Whoops. Who was it? What? Why? Why are we shooting at this guy? Yeah, I didn't mean to. That was a little... No, I don't want to steal here. What was that? What was going on? Hmm. Anyway, uh, if you, like, you know, set a story in the city, you always have to find some reason for people not to walk down 15 blocks or something, you know? You want to keep the location f small, first because you have to build all of this in the game, and second because the larger the city is, the, the less likely it is for the player to find anything. And, you know, it wouldn't be interesting to run through hundreds of empty buildings. So, um, you always have to find a way to get players, to keep players from trying to walk down further and further. Um, and usually, you know, you do something like the road, uh, if you go closer than a certain point to the end of the road, your character will just say, ah, there's nothing down there, uh, or I, I don't want to leave this area before I've found the important stuff I'm looking for here, or something like that. But here, with these islands, you basically, you don't need that. There's just a natural spot beyond you can't walk further. So, like, having it sit inside a building... Um, so that works. Oh, we could have got more Spectrum Brown here. Samples will be billed to your room. That's a good advertisement. So, of course they don't give a sample away free. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Did they just forget to remove the discrepancy detector? This is a bottle of unreleased Rizzo's product. Helen appears to have attempted to use it to spell something as she expired, but all she managed was a sticky bee. What's the unreleased Rizzo's project? Well, probably Spectrum Brown. Rizzo Spectrum Brown has not yet been released for consumption. Spectrum Brown was scheduled to be unveiled at the Eridanos Atmosphere Complex in partnership with Halcyon Helen. Hmm. Is she trying to spell the name of her killer? What if the B stands for Spectrum Brown? You prefer the solution where you walk down the road on one side of the city and simply come out the other side, like in an Azure's painting. <laughs> I mean, it, it does have its advantages. Um, you know, because uh, for one thing, if you need to get from one end to the other quickly, it's actually a shortcut. On the other hand, it can also confuse people to think they're on the next screen now, and then they realize they've been walking past the same house three times. Um, it works well. I think Monkey Island had something like that. And I think there it works because you can make it, you know, funny. So what if the B stands for Spectrum Brown? I mean, it is the new product. And my guess is they put slugs into it. What if the B stands for Spectrum Brown? Now calculating likelihood of Halcyon Helen using her final moments to endorse Rizzo's <laughs> Brown. Low to moderate likelihood. Isn't Black Hole Bertie staying here? Correct. Bertie Black Hole Holcomb is a registered guest at the Grand Colonial Hotel. Anybody else I should know about? Accessing guest database B. The Grand Colonial Hotel is proud to serve the following VIPs. Bertie, comma, Black Hole. Burbage 3001. Oh, okay, that's why the VIP floor is on the elevator list. 
because we're probably gonna meet Burbage now. That would be nice. Make a note of this for later, Amplifier. This evidence has been recorded for later reference. Now generating pre-approved complement. Splendid work, Inspector. Don't patronize me. <clears throat> Alright, but I like that this has changed now. And it's interesting that they, you know, put this clue here. Ah, it's barely visible. You only see it through the scanner. That's nice. <laughs> Ellie, don't stand on the evidence. Seriously. All right. So where's Dr. Goodnight? Upstairs, apparently. Good night, good night, sleep tight, and when you dream, dream of bees, not the bees. No, wait, wrong movie. You know what would be fun? Um, if this wasn't actually Helen and Dr. Goodnight was actually Helen pretending to be doing... Uh, an analysis for this of herself. That's why we wouldn't see the face. You're dead. Just looked like she was missing a toe. Inspector, not a moment too soon. I've just finished my autopsy report. <laughs> Would you mind washing your hands before you give me anything? You sound way too excited about this. Let's hear it. Ruth Bellamy was killed by plasma damage to the upper vertebrae, the occipital bone, and the cerebellum. If it's any consolation, her death was instantaneous and painless. I've also discovered a poisonous compound in Miss Bellamy's stomach lining ingested during her last meal. Toxic, but not enough to kill her. Spencer Woolrich complained of a stomach ailment around the same time period. I assumed he was being, you know, Spencer. But now I'm not so sure. <laughs> you sure it wasn't just the hotel food? Someone was obviously trying to poison Helen. Almost certainly. Well, possibly they were trying to make her extremely uncomfortable, but I suppose killing her would also satisfy that criterion. You sure it wasn't just the hotel food? The thought occurred to me. I tested this hypothesis by vacating the contents of my stomach and testing for the presence of the same toxin. Slightly elevated levels of mercury and an alarming amount of blue food coloring. But other than that, no, I'm certain it wasn't, as you put it, just the hotel food. Okay, so our doctor puked. Um. <laughs> you did. Oh. Um. So, so she puked <laughs> and analyzed her own stomach contents just to be sure. When we were talking, you called her Ruth Bellamy, not Halcyon Helen. Oh, how curious. I do believe you're right. I wonder if this has something to do with the autopsy process. She was Halcyon Helen up until the moment I brought her to the operating table. But as soon as I cut her open, I stopped thinking of her as Halcyon Helen. It's almost as if she stopped being an icon and became a human being. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I had a feeling you'd understand. Constable Keen is dead. What? Sorry, this mask. Sometimes I can't hear correctly. It almost sounded like you said Maria Keen was dead. She was murdered in her office. Maria's been killed. I don't understand. How? Who did this? She was poisoned by potassium chloride. Do you know anything about it? Rather harmless on its own. Common ingredient in medicine, but it can have a lethal application. Potassium chloride, when delivered in a cocktail of neurotoxin and paralytic, leads to cardiac arrest. Oh, merciful love. I'm so sorry, Maria. 
whoever did it was carrying the needler. Helen's signature weapon. She brought it with her to the hotel. After we discovered Helen's body, Keen inspected her hotel room. The needler was gone. That's as much as I know. Okay, so it's Maria actually her Maria and I weapon. were frequently at loggerheads. We disagreed on practically everything. It didn't help that I'm on Mr. Kincannon's payroll and Maria is a Rizzo's loyalist. Was a Rizzo's loyalist. Apologies, Inspector. I don't have the heart to continue talking at the moment. Thank you for your time. I noticed your patient log is on your terminal. My apologies. I'm not in the mood to socialize. We'll talk later. Okay. So, I guess we've talked to the doctor and we know that she was shot not with the needler. But I guess by someone who wanted the needler from her, maybe? Huh. And it was actually her needler. I would have expected, you know, them to have, like, merchandise or something and that it's not, you know, that... You know that it's her signature weapon, but like how, you know, like, I don't know, like a certain detectives, like, run around with a Beretta or something, but, you know, or I think, was it James Bond that had a, that was known to have a Beretta? You, you know, something like that. Like, there's a typical gun that James Bond usually uses, and there's something like that and so that's I thought was the signature weapon gain access to VIP floor speak with Sp Spencer Woolrich okay I think this is exactly the perfect time where we will finish and uh, yes where we will um, be uh, going off to somewhere. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed the stream so far. Um, and I hope you'll be back because this button. Um, yes, we will be uh, back again next week, same time, same Twitch channel at 5pm Central European Summertime, or 8am uh, Pacific Daylight Time. Um, so hopefully see you then. And uh, have a good rest of the week. Bye-bye. <laughs>